We are checking out the El Cheapo SD Links by Benven.com, which, as you probably guessed from the name, is a flash cart for the Atari Lynx. The case is a little different to the original Lynx cartridge. It has a straight edge at the top instead of a curved design, and on the back there is a raised design instead of plain. And of course, on the top is the micro SD card slot where you can add your card with games. Despite its thin size, it feels quite solid and definitely not cheap. Let's get it booted up and see how it works. There is a basic but perfectly usable file browser which you can navigate using the D-pad. Left and right will skip a page. The A button will load the highlighted game and option 1 button will load the previously played game. Holding the pause button will display box art and screenshots which you can change with left and right on the D-pad. These are included in the firmware download, but you may need to rename your ROM files to match the image folders, otherwise they will not display. Whilst we have a quick go on a few games, we can go over some of the features of the El Cheapo SD Links. You can store all of the Atari Lynx games on a very small size micro SD card, which is great. The full ROM set is less than 50 megs, so any old card you have laying around will work. As a note, only ROMs with the LNX file extension work. If you are having issues with the games not loading, then they may be in LYX format, which does not contain header data in the file. There are online converters, but you should have no trouble finding LNX files. The El Cheapo SD Link supports up to 512KB ROM files, which is the largest for official games. This covers all but one homebrew ROM. Whilst no original Atari Lynx games use EMPROM saving, the El Cheapo SD Lynx does support it. There are a few homebrew software that do have saves. The menu software is open source for custom skins and menu loaders, which we will be taking a look at next. Atari Gamer have made their own menu software which has a few improvements and is definitely worth considering using instead of the original menu software. It has a number of different colour themes which helps with the contrast on the original rubbish screen and I would imagine looks amazing on a LCD replacement. Navigation is performed the same though there is no option to quickly load the previously played game which is a shame but it is on the list to be possibly added in a future update along with game screenshot support. Over the past few days I've tried many games and had no issues at all with compatibility they all worked exactly how they're supposed to, providing the ROM is in the correct format. EEPROM saves seem to work fine with the few homebrew games that I tried, like Tetris, which saves the highest score. The El Cheapo SD Lynx is a great solution if you want to check out the Atari Lynx game library, as well as some decent homebrew software. At around £45, it is great value for money. I've got mine in the UK from zlabs.com, all of the links are in the description. That wraps up our brief review of the El Cheapo SD Links. We hope you have found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and we hope to see you back in our next video.